Hi, this is a test of um, single sign-on for messaging and the behavior um, that we think it should work. So this is a demo page that basically generates GWT tokens for messaging and then it's linked to his MSK instance to test. So first things first, if I do an user like this, and I do a login, then it's logged in. This is my flow. Um, starts the Zendesk messaging. Uh, I am also logged into Zendesk and online as a user. So if I say I want to talk to a human, at that moment, of course, this starts a conversation. And here on the other side, you have an incoming conversation with the agent for which you then expect um, the conversation to be, hey, this is with Hawkeye, comes in, is authenticated, and you see um, the external ID as shared with the user. But the weird thing is, when you look at that user on this profile, there is no email address for that user registered at all. So there is no, we don't really know that user. Diving into the API, if I pull in the Zendesk user from the API, I get a user with a specific ID, but mentioned there is no email address on that profile. If you look at the identities for that user in Zendesk, so the identities for the Hawkeye user, we notice that he has one identity, so no email identity, nothing else, only a messaging identity with a specific value. That value is only retrievable if you are a Sunco user. And if you are a Sunco Sunshine Conversation user, we can pull up a Sunco user, and that Sunco user actually contains the external ID of the user that just logged in via messaging. So this external ID that's hovered here is the external ID from the Sunco Messenger and is not available in Zendesk natively as a field. And of course, this is a new user, has never logged in, so there's no user found um, in the profile. If you go to a second flow, a similar flow, so let me log out here from the bot, so I'm back in default. If instead of the hog eye user, we go to the Hulk, go to the Hulk here, and then I do a login, then I'm logged in as the Hulk. Similar, never been logged into. Um, never been logged into uh, messaging. What I get here is, hey, I want to talk to a human. And of course, I'm going to connect to support again. I do a hey to the user. And if I jump to my um, overview here, I will get an incoming conversation with the Hulk. Nice. Same here. This is the Hulk, user.example.com. He has an empty profile, no email address. Yet again, there is an identity link for messaging. Yet again, there is an email address there. But the weird thing is, in the case of the Hulk, there was already a Hulk in the Zendesk system, namely this Hulk, hulkadventures.com. So if I go to my users and I search for the Hulk, I get my Hulk at adventures.example user, which already existed in Zendesk as like a regular traditional Zendesk user. Here he is is for this user, I create a test ticket in the system and I run my same sidebar app that pulls in the data. But you will see this, this Hulk user has a different ID, has an email address set, has the same external ID as the user that's being created via the, um, via the GWT token in the Zendesk environment. So you would imagine those two being mapped, if not for email, based on that one. The user is there, but he only, he or she only has an email identity because that's an existing user that never did messaging. And of course, um, there is no rest of the information being found. So this is just like a traditional user in Zendesk with no messaging identity, nothing linked because they are there. What we could do then is go to this Hulk user Say I want to merge, then I select the existing Hulk user, which I just selected. At that moment, they are being merged. If I look at my ticket now and refresh my log, I will see that now what I have is that original existing Hulk user with external ID in the email address. Since I merged that user, they now do have a Zendesk identity with the messaging um, type. So I can pull up that user in Sunco, which already existed. And from now on, whenever this user will log in um, to GWT via messaging in a bot, those conversations will be mapped to the same user. But 
it's weird that I have to merge the user manually and that the map, the overlapping email address and or the overlapping external ID aren't enough to match. And then we have a final example, uh, which also uh, shows where this goes wrong. So if I look at my Captain America user, you see there is a team here. Um, I can go to the Captain America user. This is yet again a clean user with no experience, with no flow. So here again, if I take this user and I create a test ticket for the guy and I submit it, you will see that Captain America is a clean user. And so this is my Captain America user. He has a user ID, no messaging profile, has never used messaging. I log out again to make it easy. I'm going to copy the email address. It's faster. So here I'm going to do, this is Captain America, but I'm not going to log in this time. Instead of doing this, I'm going to start a bot and not log in as Captain America. Hey, I want to talk to a human. It's a whole else in this case, it's Captain America layouts. Now I'm going to ask for a name. So, hey, I'm Captain America. And I'm typing the mail address. And now we're going to talk. Hello. Following the single sign-on flow that we used for the Hulk and the, um, the other user, Hawkeye, you would expect in this case for a new user profile to be created because this is a conversation with a user that has never used messaging. I ask for details and enter the mail address. But what happens is this user is not a new user. It is my external ID user Captain America. So the, the profile with email address already existed, which didn't have, if we look back at the previous ticket, didn't have any um, sentence identities yet. But now, because I contacted over a non-logged in messaging flow with the same email address, all of a sudden I get a messaging ID, a messaging uh, profile sign assigned to me with a random um, or not even an external ID. I get a Sunco user for that user with Captain America example to come being created, being added to this existing user. So a logged in user. So let me go to this one and say, I want to log in. A logged in Captain America um, will create a new profile, which is not linked to the user. And a non-logged in Captain America will be added to the same profile, which is, in my opinion, completely backwards on one, what one would expect for the flow to, to, to happen. So now I'm Captain America. I log into my bot and it starts from scratch. Oh, I'm talking here as a logged in Captain America. Hey, hey. Since I already exist in support, I have already contacted messaging with the same email address in the past, and my profile has both an email and a messaging identity, you would expect this conversation to be a conversation with this Captain America profile, namely profile 26. But if you look at the index and I go to my conversation with Captain America, the one I just added, oh and behold, this is a blank user. And this is a completely new profile with a new messaging identity and a new external ID. So what we have now is a few issues that frankly, I don't know how to solve and which seem very weird. If you log in via messaging with an email address and the user exists in Zendesk, a new user is already created. If I am not logged in with messaging and I fill in an email address with ask for details, then I'm added to that profile as a messaging identity and I'm mapped to the existing user in Zendesk with that mail address. If I already contacted support being not logged in, I already have a profile that has my messaging email address and a profile, the same profile as my email address. And then I log in with that same user and I contact support, it still creates a second profile. I think what everyone expects to happen is even if you are logged in as a user in messaging, or if you're not logged in in messaging as a user, in any of those scenarios, you would expect if the email address matches to merge the profiles and to have one user in Zendesk with those profiles and not this like 
fractured flow um, we have now. Thanks.